impairment, market impact, temporary market impact. And someone under distress is liquidation, his position. Okay. For simplicity, we'll assume that he executes through a VWAP trade, uniform speed in terms of volume time. Okay. So this bounce down and this bounce back uh, uh, corresponds to the temporary component. Okay. And so he, he, he sells at a uniform speed between zero, 0 and 1. And uh, the market price is dragged down um, due to the permanent component at the rate of gamma. Okay. So imagine you are a hedge fund manager out there, perfectly um, solvent with deep pockets. What would you do if you, know, if you know that someone out there is selling due to exogenous reasons? Very naturally, if we want to make money, we would sell, co-sell with the distressed trader at the beginning and buy back right, when he's done with his trade. So in this case, uh, plasticity dominates elasticity. So we observe this pattern and we would uh, <coughs> um, do, that, do that trade. But in the case that um, elasticity dominates plas uh, plasticity, we would do it the other way around. Right? We would actually sell, at the, um, we would buy, buy low at the beginning and sell after the distressed trader has done with uh, his trading activity. Right? However, keep in mind that this asset is illiquid. Once you start trading, um, your activity will also tap the market and uh, impact the quote. Right? And for the first player, although he's obliged to sell, he knows that you are out there. You are ready to do whatever is optimal for you. So, Although he, he's um, obliged to sell, he will um, re-optimize his uh, tr uh, liquidation strategy, assuming that uh, given whatever strategy you're playing. And you would also optimize your strategy given what, whatever strategy he plays. Right? So this really becomes an interplay between the open loop strategy you are using and the open loop strategy of the distressed trader that he's using. But what exactly are you assuming that these two different people know about each other's trading strategies? First of all, why do I know that you, for example, have to sell something? And, and um, how do I know what strategy you for? That's a very nice question. Like, usually, when, when, when I present my work uh, to, uh, to academics, the, I, the people will skip this question. But whenever I present to practitioners, this is almost the first question they will ask. And um, stay with me for a while until the, the, at the very end. I'll give them a good answer to you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and so, so we observe like an under, you know, low volatility environment, pretty much a deterministic, deterministic model does the job. But if we use the same innovation process but increase the level of sigma, that pattern kind of emerged within the no noise. So whatever will be optimal for you and for the distress trader, it's not that straightforward, right? So we, we need some better models to analyze the situation where noise, you know, the, the, that signal comes with the noise, okay? So that's really the, the intuition behind the math, okay? So now, now let, let's um, work formally with, with some serious math. So uh, as I mentioned before, we adopt the linear models for both the uh, permanent component and temporary component for the sake of simplicity. And Z denotes the market quote. So um, this is the permanent component, and this is the uh, um, uh, noise part, the, the martingale part. And uh, so there are three sta state variables. X, the position of the first player. Y, the position of the second player. Z, the market quote. Uh, plus T, right? The, the strategies are obviously time uh, dependent. Phi refers to the closed loop strategy